My name is Jason Lytle. My name is Aaron Espinoza. Uh, we are parts of Admiral Radley. This is true. Actually, the, I mean, the, the whole reason the whole project even exists or why it started in the first place was just, you know, because we were looking for an excuse to just hang out in Aaron's studio. And for me, uh, personally, it was appealing because, you know, it just sounded like, it almost sounded like stories that I heard, you know, of you know, the way people used to do it. And I know plenty of bands do that now, but I'd gotten so used to recording the way that, I recorded which is kind of you know in a bubble or on an island which is how I feel like I get my best work done but I was really craving hanging out with other people and the idea of you know not just being some random people but being good friends of mine it, it was really appealing to me I don't know I've for me part of and probably the reason I shrunk into that position to begin with is because I just have a hard time articulating. Like I can, you know, I can, you know, I can go to the post office and tell the person, you know, the directions of like where to send this and I can do things. I can go to the restaurant and, you know, I, I know how to communicate with people, but when it comes down to like really communicating ideas or things that I feel, that's where I really start tripping up. So it was it was nice for me to be in that position and to kind of let my guard down a little bit and not be so cuz I don't know if it's just a complete inability or just like I was afraid, you know, of, of looking like a dick. You know, here's a good idea. It's like, no, that's not a good idea. And then like, all right, I'm a dick later. I didn't want to be I got a lot better at uh you know, being comfortable presenting my ideas or being a part of, you know, a an a an influx of ideas that eventually becomes a song you know you know and i'm not that different than jason whereas i just usually work with ariana my bandmate in early march so it's just the two of us and then so i had to learn to kind of i actually i learned it was good to uh sort of let go because i maybe steer the ship a little steer the boat a little too much in early march maybe you know and in this project, which is actually super refreshing for me, not that early March a drag because it's not, I love it, but in this thing, I can, I don't have to be, I don't have to be the boss or there's no boss. Like we're all, it's all a total collaboration and then I can let go. And then what I think is good for me um, artistically is listening, you know, like now I'm, I'm trying to add something to his song you know where usually I would I would just wait for Ariana to add something to my song like okay what are you gonna do to this now you know what do you got and I that that's kind of foreign to me to like s have someone else bring a song in and then, and then think like what do I what am I gonna do to this or what what can I do to this to help it and it's not it wasn't always like okay because this is gonna be early Mark granddaddy it has to be equal parts everything I mean it was just about what the song needed you know so I think that was good for me to let go and learn and listen, and um, yeah. I I I don't know. I I think the um, what's interesting is that everything of this for this if this band is brand new for us, you know, um, day to day. There's there's no like master plan so far. We're just enjoying uh, doing this. I'm so damn selfish. All I can think about is my own music. <laughs> this was like a. This was a side project, but it's a really fun, you know, side project that's it's been a it's been it's been a challenge and it's been enjoyable. So and and like we may have said before, it kind of started off started and just sort of we kind of really had no idea what was going to happen with it. As a matter of fact, once once it accidentally became an album instead of an EP, we realized we had to give it a name and then and only because we realized hey we need to sell this you know so it needs a name and then it it's just kind of become all these little this the next step has just sort of been out of necessity um, each time so it's kind of I don't know and some you know it could amount to nothing but right now 
few people seem to be into it, so we're just kind of rolling with it. So when you find out? I don't know. I'm just you know, trying to do the same thing I've always tried to do, which is make the next record better than the last one. You know, I'm just uh, I've accidentally figured out that that's what I do. You know, I make records, and I get really into making records. So I'm kind of addicted to the process. You know, so I'm just carrying on with what I've been doing for a while. I can say that the last, like my my official first solo record, I felt the need to rope it in a little bit. I didn't want to scare people off. You know, hey, he was in Granddaddy. Now he's he's lost his freaking mind, and and he's. So I kind of needed to, it's like ease people into the idea that that um that that uh still making music. Yes, it does resemble Granddaddy. And, uh, but I felt like I wanted to lose my shit. Like I wanted to, I wanted to go south with it a little bit more. So I'm actually looking forward to doing that on this. Now that the first, my, my debut solo record is out of the way, I can kind of loosen up a little bit. I'm just not gonna give as much of a shit this time. <laughs> this time. That's my deal. What's your deal? What's your record? Like? My deal. My record's done. I, really? Yeah, it's in the can. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> it was just a race. It was a race to the summer. It's done. It's in the can. Sounds good too. <laughs> already mixed. Yeah. It's already. It's it's actually like, it's been shrink wrapped and everything. They're just waiting to, as soon as we get home from this tour, that shit's hitting the shelves. I have learned, I went through a little phase when I was younger where I thought you had to be miserable and, and uh, on the verge of suicide to make good work and good art. And I realized that's complete, utter nonsense and bullshit. And I've actually found out that the happier I am, the more productive I am. And, uh, and I've learned what it takes to make me happy and not to let people encroach upon that. And, and try to tell me I'm supposed to do all this stuff in the name of progress and and uh, so I don't know I've gotten a little bit better at you know drawing my own line in the sand and in the name of continuing to do this you know and, you know making myself happy and hopefully making a few others happy as well I think I've learned to I think as I've gotten older when I was younger, I was more, I think maybe I was just obsessed with like shit wasn't happening if we didn't get certain opportunity or, you know, and um, now as I've gotten older, I'm realizing that I think what I do, what I do best, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not the best musician in the world. I'm not the best songwriter in the world for sure, you know, I'm a really hard worker and I th I've really found so far at least and I've been fortunate to be able to do this for a living, you know, I'm not getting rich or anything, but we're paying the bills and that's like huge. And to be able to do that and do it the way that early Mart does it is kind of like the slow and steady and just continuous, you know, just keep working hard and doing our thing and, and relentless and, but not worrying about shit that you can't control. You know, I used to think like, you know, we were younger. It was like I called it like, you know, chasing the the great Coachella in the sky. You know, like why are we on Coachella? What the fuck? Fire that manager, that agent's out. Fucking blah blah blah. We fired everybody like twelve times, and now I've learned like that was ridiculous. You can't control shit like that. It's like chasing a cheetah around the block. You know, it's just like it ain't gonna happen. And now if you just don't worry about shit too much. Just do your thing. Cool things happen, and they're gonna happen to you, you know. And, and I guess that's that's what I've been learning the most. And it makes you happier. I think you get comfortable with yourself, and and uh, and you're happy. Did you just say art? Art, the <laughs> art, the art of it all. There's some art on the record. <laughs> There's one art. That one art. Ready?